welcome back to my sewing vlog the seaside sewist so i've got a bit of a fabric and pattern haul a bit of haberdashery and fabric in there and um, one pattern i think so let's go straight in so tamlin from sewing on the time on youtube and instagram was having a bit of a de-stash so i bought a few things from her this first one is like peachy pinky cotton with these uh, ladies sunbathing on and I've bought that to so there's not much of it I think it was a meter by 50 and I've bought that to make some items for my Etsy shop um, the next fabric that I got again to make items for my Etsy shop is this cotton and it's like a sort of Native American kind of thing with the bears and the the owls and the squirrels on. So that'll make an autumn item to go into my shop. And then she was about to post everything out and I couldn't resist this. It's a uh, viscose, originally bought from Felicity Fabrics, and the colour is not as bright as. Um, as it's shown there it's a little bit more subdued but it's like a mustard with spots on but it's kind of made it look like an animal print gorgeous fabric so it's got the original card with it so it's uh, it's called pebbles yellow 100% viscose and it's 140 centimeters and it's a meter so I managed to pick up that little beauty so I'll probably just make some sort of top with that so that can now be pre-washed the next items I bought are for um, coming up to autumn and winter on my Etsy shop so Minerva were having these are all from Minerva Minerva were having um, their craft day so the craft club day every I think it's about twice a year they have um, where they've got 20% off everything if you join the craft club now the craft club is 20 pounds a year and throughout the year you'll get 10% off everything but when they do a craft club day you get 20% off but it'll be things like if they're doing a 50% um, simplicity patterns sale for example you'll then get you the 20% off that as well so it is really good now there's being totally transparent I'm part of their affiliate program so anyone that uses my link to go through to Minerva to buy anything or to join up with the craft club I do get a little bit of commission back from that so if you do want to support me in that way use my link in the description box and it'll take you through to the website you can buy whatever you want and then I'll get a little bit of commission back from that so the first two fabrics that I got were to make um, my autumn items which and what I was then going to do was do like um, a shop my Etsy autumn and then a Christmas one so let me know if you would be interested in seeing that so I do a, a little vlog where I'd come on and show you the products that I've got available for um, autumn and then Christmas and, and there'll be a cheeky little discount code there for you to use if you want to so everyone's thinking will you stop waffling on and just show me the fabric so the first fabric is this so it's like a, a blue a denim blue and it's floral but it's then it's got skeletons on it and I then also bought the black version so that's the black version and that's the blue version so I've helped myself by pre-ordering all this on the um, craft club date and saving money myself so I bought them too I then bought a couple of Christmas ones so we've got the gingerbread men and the candy canes so these are all cottons and then we've got the Christmas ones which is Christmas trees, candy canes, stockings and hats on there on a blue background 
Uh, from Minerva I also bought, I do use a lot of this lately on my little um, embroidery boxes that I do so I bought some calico which was really reasonable I thought. I think I've already bought a metre of it but I bought some calico and then I also bought um, a bag zip and some heavy weight sewing interfacing for the same bag that I'm doing which I'm going to show you in a minute so that is that so on so for also for my Etsy shop I needed bias binding so I bought this off eBay so I bought like a pumpkin orange one and then a red one in there for some boxes that I'm going to put together um, on Etsy so I'll show you those um, and the pattern that I bought this is not going to do it justice so I'm going to I'll put a picture in as well of this uh, you're sick of hearing me saying I'm going to a wedding <laughs> at the beginning of September and I'm making a dress so I wanted to make a bag as well and I'd made the Ida Clutch by True Bias before it's probably not even True Bias, I think it is I'll put the correct um, pattern company in if it's not True Bias it's not, it's Carly in the Machine, sorry it is Carly in the Machine so I bought this pattern off Etsy and it's constructivism, I think that's what the company is called and it's an integral bow clutch and this is not going to show you it at all I'm about halfway through you can sort of see there the, fi the finished what the finished thing is supposed to look like it's got 89 steps and I'm on to step 40 <laughs> It's actually more intricate than the dress that I'm making, but I've done the front, which is made up of pieces, so I'll show you that. It's just down here. So this is the front up to now that I've done. So the way that you construct it, you obviously construct it onto this um, sewn interface, and so you can see all like the zigzag stitches maybe where, where I've put it on. So these are all different pieces that then pleat over each other and then you've got this bow which actually that comes out doesn't come off but it comes out and then you literally mm, it smells of fabric conditioner <laughs> and then it literally goes back in there now you could have cut it for a longer bow so the sash comes further down which I wish I'd have done but I haven't so that is that matches my dress that I've got so that's what the zip was for so that's literally the front it, it is quite a pattern but the overall look is absolutely it's I, I hope that my finished pro product of this is fantastic because it's gonna look amazing with the dress so that is my fabric and pattern haul not massive it might be my last fabric and pattern haul for a little while because I'm going to start a new series which is literally so my stash I've got a pile of fabric and a pile of patterns and I'm going to start a new series where I match them to each other so I'll get a fabric out if it's a viscose jersey and I'll look through my viscose jersey patterns and I'll sew it up um, so the only fabrics that I'm going to be showing you are probably my So Hayley Jane fabric um, and any that I get sent through Minerva. So I am going to try and maybe go to the end of the year without buying any fabric. Hmm. We'll see how that one goes. So do you have any of the fabrics that I've got there? Please let me know if you would be interested in um, me doing like a little... A little um, Etsy store thing I've just had an idea actually I could do a bit of a um, YouTube live kind of market night if anybody would be interested I can have a load of pre-made items and you know we could go live at I don't know eight o'clock 
and the first person to comment um, buys that, that item so I could also do it that way you know I've been doing my Etsy shop for about five years now and it really you know I think using YouTube to do that you know to 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 get my brand out there you know the not many of you might know that I, I do have an Etsy shop and it is sewing related so it's sewing accessories sewing machine covers and um, little craft boxes you know things like that I sell vintage buttons and vintage patterns um but there is a link in uh, the description box to my Etsy shop if you want to go and have a look at that so as I say give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and please subscribe if you want to see more content from me thanks for watching bye